Let's begin our tour of BreathSim by looking at the main screen regions and seeing how we can control the simulation and how we can learn about the events inside the anesthesia breathing system. In the upper central part of the screen, we have the animation of gas flow in the circle breathing system. Green represents CO2 free gas. Gray represents gas which contains exhaled CO2. Notice that the inspiratory valve and the expiratory valve move during inspiration and expiration respectively. Notice also the movement of the lungs and the movement of the bellows and the opening of the ventilator low pressure pop-off valve at the end of expiration. In the upper right portion of the screen we have the ventilation control panel. Here we can vary fresh gas flow, respiratory rate, tidal volume, and inspiratory to expiratory ratio. We can also generate an expiratory pause or an inspiratory hold. The default ventilator that BreathSim uses is a constant inspiratory flow design. This is typical of most anesthesia ventilators. However, if we want to, we can change the inspiratory flow pattern to a decreasing or tapered flow, a sinusoidal pattern, or change ventilatory modes completely by switching to pressure mode. We can also emulate the volume compensation capability of the Omida 7900 ventilator. The upper left portion of the screen allows us to change certain patient characteristics such as lung compliance and airway resistance. Lung compliance can be set through a range of low, normal, and high, and airway resistance is represented by varying sizes of tracheal tubes as well as by kinked tracheal tubes. The circuit defects portion of the main screen contains several controls which allow us to introduce breathing circuit defects. For example, we can alter the effectiveness of the absorbent so that we reduce the amount of CO2 absorbed. We can produce an incompetence of the inspiratory valve or an incompetence of the expiratory valve. We can generate a leak around the tracheal tube cuff or produce leaks in the inspiratory limb or the expiratory limb of the breathing system. These three waveform windows show us the capnogram, airway pressure waveform, and airway flow waveform. The scale for capnogram is in percent CO2. For pressure, it is in centimeters of water. And for flow, we have liters per minute. Notice on the flow waveform that there's a horizontal line in black, which is zero flow. Any flow that's drawn above the zero line is positive flow and represents expiratory flow, flow out of the patient. So this is the expiratory flow portion of the flow waveform. Inspiratory flow is depicted as flow below the horizontal zero line. And notice here that the inspiratory flow is continuous or constant and flat. The inspiratory flow profile is generated by the ventilator setting. The expiratory flow profile is a function of lung compliance, airway pressure, and airway resistance. In the lower right portion of the screen, you can see the pressure volume loop and the flow volume loop. Notice that as the loops are drawn, they're drawn with a black line overriding the gray line. Therefore, the gray line always represents the previous breaths, and the black line represents the current breath. The pressure volume loop is generated by plotting airway pressure at the Y piece in centimeters of water along the X axis, and volume of gas inspired or expired along the Y axis. The loop moves counterclockwise. During inspiration, it moves up along the right limb, and during expiration, it moves down along the left limb. The flow volume loop is generated by graphing inspiratory or expiratory flow against inspired and expired volume. Again, Notice that the inspiratory portion is below the zero horizontal line and the expiratory portion is above the zero horizontal line. 
As in the case before, inspired flow is constant due to the setting of the ventilator. Expired flow varies throughout expiration. Initially, we have a high expiratory flow, otherwise known as peak expiratory flow, and it gradually tapers off during expiration. The flow volume loop should be a closed loop. It should return to this point on the right at the end of every breath.